Okay, I hope you're ready to use Pascal's triangle to expand a binomial. So here we go. Here's a binomial we have to expand. So here we go with the expansion. First of all, if I have a fifth degree, I have to figure out what row of Pascal's triangle do I need to use. And, um, and what helps me is I determine how many terms. And if I have a fifth degree, I know I have one more term than that number. So there are six terms in the expansion. And what row has six terms? Here we go. So now I start setting up the triangle um, using these numbers as my start off point for my coefficients. But there's a lot of other pat patterns that you have to use when you're using Pascal's triangle. So let's set this up. I know I have a one and then I have two parentheses. Then I have a five and two parentheses. A 10, two parentheses. Another 10, two parentheses. A five, two parentheses. A one, two parentheses. Oh boy, that's a lot of stuff. And inside each one of these parentheses, I put these two parts. Or from the original formula, this is the A part and this is the B part. I also have to know what to do with the exponents. Um, order is very important here. The first exponent is a 5. The second one is a 0 right there. Now, notice the sum of these two numbers is 5. Next exponent here, a 4 and a 1. Notice the sum is 5. Next exponent here. 3 and 2. Do you notice an interesting pattern with these exponents? As the first one is decreasing, what's happening to the second one? It's increasing. And tell me about the sum of the exponents. It's always, hope you said 5. All right, so there's a 3, so now I have a 2, 3, 1, 4, 0, Five. Now, <clears throat> inside of each one of these parentheses, I need to put something. The first one gets the 2x, and the second one gets the negative 3y. 2x, 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 negative 3y. All right, now the fun starts. First term, let's simplify all of this stuff. We'll have a 1, 2 to the 5th is 32, negative 3 to the 0, anything to the 0 power is 1. All right, so in terms of my coefficient, I have a 32, and then I have x to the 5th, no y. All right, next one, more fun here, a 5. I like to do the, the uh, coefficient part first, so 2 to the 4th. What's that? 16 and negative 3 to the 1 is negative 3. Multiply all of that, negative 240. All right, let's figure out the exponent stuff on the variables. x to the 4th, y to the 1st. Okay, next one, I have a 10 to multiply. 2 to the 3rd, which is 8, and negative 3 squared, positive 9. So 8 times 9 is 72, times 10, 720, and we have positive 720. x to the third, y to the second. All right, next term, I have a 10. 2 squared is 4. 3 to the third, negative 27. Multiply that out, I get negative 1080, x squared, y third. All right, next one, 5 times 2, uh-oh, negative 3 to the 4th. What is that? Oh, let's use the calculator, figure out the whole thing, and I get a 10. X, Y to the 4th. And then the last term, 2X to the 0, so that's a 1, so I have 1 times 1 times 3 to the 5th, negative 3 to the 5th is negative 2, 
43, x to the 0 I don't have to write, y to the 5th. And there you have it, the binomial expansion. Now again, look for patterns. The x's should decrease and the y's should increase. Notice also if there's a minus sign, the minus sign alternates. Plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus. Check all kinds of patterns before you circle for your final answer. And good luck using the binomial theorem. You can do it.